Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I wanted to give you a motivating tip because it's Monday and this is Motivation Monday. And the tip that I wanna give you is to be phenomenal. Now, I when I first started nursing, I you know imagined that all nurses were just like absolute amazing creatures and you know were driven and positive and naturally like just happy. And you know, as you start to go into the nursing profession, you realize that there's a lot of people that are the exact opposite. <laughs> So I didn't really realize this initially. I knew that there was a lot of resistance when I would go into clinicals, but it didn't really like set in that actually being an amazing person was quite rare. But one day when I was a new nurse, I think I had been a nurse for like six months, I was like running around to do everything. And I was working with this, this nurse, she was so sweet. She's probably like in her 60s or 70s. And I asked her a question, you know, something like just to clarify something. And then I like ran off, you know, and I was always like determined to do my job phenomenally and to do it at the, the best level possible and finish everything on time. And, and then she came up to me and she said something. She was like, you know, the hospital is just so lucky to have you. And I was like, wow, like, thank you so much for saying that. But what do you mean? Like, there's a lot of amazing nurses here. And she's like, no, look how hard you work. And at that time, I I didn't really, I never thought about that. Like I never, never thought about comparing the way I work with other people. And then I thought to myself, you're right, I do work really hard. <laughs> And, um, you know, she said she was like, it stands out. And come to think of it, I had just been offered like multiple different, you know, little opportunities by my director and charge nurse and everyone was, you know, complimenting me. And, and I looked around and I was like, you're right. Like I'm getting offers that other people aren't getting. And I didn't really put two and two together. I was just doing my job to the best of my ability. So being phenomenal is a decision that you make on a daily basis. And thankfully in nursing, you know, in other careers, it might not stand out as much because everyone's phenomenal. Like, like take for example, and I'm just, I'm pulling this out of my head. Like if you're a drug sales rep, probably like there's a lot of phenomenal people in that profession because it sort of attracts that type of person. Um, but with nursing, if you're phenomenal, you can really be like a rare gem. So it's kind of awesome. <laughs> so anyways, tips to being phenomenal are not complaining, you know, just accepting things as they are and working with them as best as you can, having faith that in the end, everything will work out. Take on more than you're supposed to do, you know, go the extra mile, do what's not expected of you. Help out your charge nurse. Sometimes the charge nurse's responsibility or the director's responsibilities are overwhelming. You should see some of the emails they get. It's crazy. <laughs> So anyways, like always offer to lend a hand as soon as all of your things are taken care of because you did a phenomenal job on time. Being phenomenal also comes with being able to take negative results. So if a patient complains, don't build it up into this gigantic thing, just solve it as best as you can and move on. If another nurse complains about you or tries to argue with you, like, you know, just try to get out of that as, as fast as possible. These negative environments that try to bring us down are almost like tests to see if you're really, really willing to keep being phenomenal. But I know you are. So any type of negativity that comes to you, just say, this is expected. It's part of life. Life is going to bring us all these types of situations that we're not sure if we can handle and that's just it i'm not going to think too much about it let's do this take care of it and move on all right guys i hope you have a phenomenal monday <laughs> and thank you so much again as usual for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up next week we're going to talk about perfectionism and why you need to not be a perfectionist <laughs> all right i can't wait to see you then i love you so much bye Let's stay connected guys, no matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing 
nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.